Hi there. I'm making this quick video to address a big question that a lot of fans have for House of the Dragon going forward. Yes, Daeron Targaryen exists in the TV show continuity. Also known as Daeron the Daring, Alicent Hightower's third son, fourth and youngest child overall, rider of the dragon Tessarion, and basically the POV main character for the Reach Front of the War. That back at the end of Season 1, both Shona Ryan Condal and George R. R. Martin himself made public statements assuring us that he's not on screen because he's where he was in the book at this point in time. He wasn't in King's Landing. As the youngest son, he'd been sent off as a ward to Old Town, with his high tower cousins. He wasn't there when all this happened. That in Westeros being sent somewhere as a child of a noble house somewhere else as a ward, it's it's like being sent off to college. Remember how Ned Stark and Robert Baratheon were sent off to ward at the Eyrie with John Arryn. That he was sent to Old Town because remember Otto is not the head of House High Tower. Early in season one we saw that his older brother Hobart was. We last saw Hobart at Rainier and Lenor's wedding in episode 5, but there have been 16, 17 years worth of time skips since then, so he's died of old age since then. That when the war begins, it's Otto's nephew, Hobart's son, Ormond Hightower, is the head of the main branch of House Hightower and Lord of Old Town. That they're gradually going to introduce all the other Hightower characters as a whole extended family. We're also going to see Allison's brother, Gwen Hightower, who, while Otto's son, has been living in Old Town all this time and kind of identifies with the main branch more at this point in terms of his honor and values, that he's not a political creature of the capital scheming and conniving for things he's relatively honorable, that you'll gradually expand out to see the other Hightowers. They explain this in quotes. I'm not going to bother for time reading them off again. I'm just throwing them up on slides here. This is what they said back October 2022. I'm making this video because two new things came out. First, Condal just gave a new interview in which he was directly asked about Dayron. And second, by pure luck the same week as that, we got a script report on a season one deleted scene which would have established Dayron's existence in dialogue. Well, to start with, because the new pair of teaser trailers came out, Ryan Condal gave an accompanying interview with Entertainment Weekly, and discussion turned to how they're reintroducing Allison's brother, Gwen Hightower, who we briefly saw played by a stuntman in season one. Who He's coming back, he's going to be a major character played by Freddie Fox. And the interviewer asked, well, might we see other members of that branch of the Hightower family who've been living in Old Town all this time? You know, like Dayron? And Condal didn't want to give too specific of an answer to reveal too much of, is he going to be on screen in Season 2, or at least going to mention him in Season 2? But he concluded this by saying, Dayron is a fixture and a character in the show. Do not fret anybody, all in due time. So, this week, Condal reiterated what he said almost a year and a half ago at this point, and doubled down on it. Dayron is part of the show. Dayron is coming. This is the first update we've had from any official source about Dayron since late 2022. Point two, the script report. We had heard rumors for a long time that there was supposed to be a scene in season one establishing in dialogue that Dayron exists in the TV continuity. When I say a long time, I mean back during filming on season one. When we were getting very detailed leaks, we had an episode-by-episode episode outline of the entire season. Those same reliable sources that turned out to be true said, there's this scene talking about Dayron. Specifically, a scene between Amond and Otto, as opposed to any other character. Which led us to kind of assume it was from the finale, because both sides are giving inventories of their army dispositions and what dragons they have. One little hint of that, by the way, that we think this was filmed but later cut, was if you pay attention when Daemon in the finale at the War Council is listing off an inventory of all the dragons that exist, he starts off by saying the Greens have three adult dragons. 
Why does he use that qualifier, adult ones? He says they have three adults. But then at the conclusion, when he wraps up, he says, so that's R13 to their four. Wait, suddenly they have four dragons? We'll lose the fourth one. And the running theory is maybe they were trying to qualify that with that Tessarian is a juvenile. She's a little younger than the other ones, though she's still war capable and turns out to be very effective. That maybe he was, well, three adults. She doesn't count as an adult. She's a teenager. But he does say four. You check back on that. So it felt like this is part of an even longer scene that got cut down a little. And led me to think this must have been something from episodes 9 or 10. But we just got this script report that it was actually from back in episode 7, at Lena's funeral, which makes a lot more sense. Amond asks Otto this when he meets him again for the first time in years. Remember, Otto came back to be Hand of the King after a decade spent in Old Town. And unless they visited him there, he never came back to King's Landing. It's possible some of his grandchildren don't even remember him. Like, I don't think Amon was born by the time he left originally, but at the very least, he hasn't seen them in a couple of years. And there's this exchange where, because he just came from Old Town, Amon asks him, Hey, how's Dayron doing in Old Town? And he even specifies, Hey, how, I, how's my younger brother doing? Like, people don't talk like that. If I was talking to my own grandfather... He knows Dayron is my younger brother. He doesn't need to specify that. It's for the sake of the audience. So let me read off the exact exchange here. Abon goes, well, I was hoping my younger brother might have joined you. Otto, Dayron's place is an old town. Amond, well, how does he fare? Otto, Dayron grows like any squire would under your Uncle Hobart, thick of skin. So this brief four-line exchange establishes very clearly Amond has a younger brother named Dayron who is squiring in Old Town to the main branch of the High Towers. This makes complete sense. It was in episode seven. Why was it cut? I don't know. Some will point out because it was cut, possibly not even filmed, that doesn't mean it's canon. And that's true. Sometimes you are not beholden to things that never appear on screen. They could have changed their minds. Worst case scenario, but pair this with what Condal has been repeating in other interviews same week within days of this. Yes, Dayron is part of the TV show. Don't fret, all in due time. That they have wanted, this is evidence that they have wanted to introduce Dayron since season one. And perhaps a guide for how they're going to introduce him starting in season two. I don't think he's going to be on screen in Season 2. I think he's going to show up in Season 3 because they've simply slowed the pace of adaptation. After Season 1 was such a hit, they got extended seasons, extended season order. They're slowing down the rate of production. They've publicly said the big battle we were going to have, we pushed into next season. Probably Battle of the Gullet. In the books, the Battle of the Gullet actually happens at nearly the same time as the Battle of the Honeywine a big battle Dayron is in. They say it's a one-two punch. They happen within two weeks of each other. So it would actually be, you know, according to the timeline, actually appropriate that if the gullet is in season three, so is the honey wine. But people wondering, he might cameo in season two, though I kind of doubt it, because why would you cast someone only to then have them wait another two years until season three comes out? But while he won't show up in the flesh until season three... I think they're going to start establishing that he exists in dialogue in Season 2, much as they originally intended to do that in Season 1, to smooth it in. That we're not just going to go, hey, I'm the other brother you never saw before. They'll start mentioning him. Like how Mace Terrell was mentioned in dialogue before he showed up in Season 4. In Season 3, Olen is going, oh, your father's an idiot, before they actually cast him. That kind of thing. And I think the obvious conclusion is that they're just going to shift loosely this sort of exchange between Amond and Otto with Amond and his uncle Gwain. That we know he's in the trailer that Allison's brother Gwain Hightower will be coming from Old Town to the capital this season. First time he shows up, Amond and probably Allison too, maybe they're at the small council table, maybe both of them in his presence... Amon will ask, hey, how's my younger brother Dayron doing in Old Town? Because you just came from there, Uncle Gwain. Just transposing this exchange with Otto with Uncle Gwain. 
And given that Gwen will be present since like the first or second episode, I think we won't even have to wait that long. By the first or second episode, like as soon as Gwen shows up, within a scene or two, he will probably mention Dayron. And we'll finally be able to stop worrying about all of this.